16th, 2001, I was born to Burita and Marty Walter. I am the firstborn and have been quite the handful for my family. Even though I know I can be a lot to handle at times, I know my family loves me. My Nana and Papa are always there to take care of me. My uncle has kept me on my feet with his constant torture of tickles. My aunt is one of my most favorite people in the world. She has been my cheerleader for me, and it is her future children that I am dedicating this for. My mom is always there to pick me up when I fall down. My dad is someone I can laugh with and be myself around. Many of my mentors have come from my karate studio, for which I call home. Shion Weinberg gave me life advice and helped set me back on the right track. My instructors, Mr. Schilling, Mr. Rigsby, and Sensei Deer, have always given me a reason to smile every time I see them. Sensei Winningberg has been one of the biggest role models in my life. He has taught me the leadership skills that I apply in real life, and has taught me how to be a great presenter. Whenever I needed to talk about something, he was always there to listen, even if it seemed stupid or silly. At times, he has been a father for me. I am thankful for my instructors, because not only have they given me a home to go to whenever I need, they have never stopped believing in me, and even call once in a while to see if I'm still alive or not. I am lucky to have my group of friends that I can be myself around. I met my wife Kayla during freshman year. She has been my best friend and my shoulder to cry on. When the weight of AP classes crashed down on me, she was there and helped me push through. Maya is the person I could go to whenever I need to rant and get something off my chest. She has been my emotional pillar since freshman year. At events like VidCon, she has made sure I'm never alone and I never freak out when I know nobody there. Hannah is someone I could go to whenever I need to laugh. We obsess over mostly the same things and I feel like I can just be myself around her. I have known my best friend Jerry since the 4th grade. We occasionally check up with each other just to make sure we're still alive. Bryson has been my best friend since the 1st grade. She is also one of the most important people in my life because she is my first best friend. I don't know what I would do without Bryson in my life. Find the people you are comfortable being yourself around. It makes life a whole lot more enjoyable. For my future cousins, find the people who enjoy you for being you, just like I have.
This is gospel for the fallen ones locked away in permanent slumber, assembling their philosophies from pieces of broken. Memory.